Love this local Olympian, and she's on the road to recovery after a devastating crash just before the last Winter Olympics. And Jackie Wiles did suffer a serious knee injury in that crash. But as KGW's Art Edwards tells us, she's well into rehab now and working hard. My goal is to get back to racing the top of the podium and, and just be the best that I can. It's a long road to that goal for Jackie Wiles, filled with hard work. She was at the top of the skiing world last February, ranked seventh in the world in the downhill, and just a week from competing at her second Olympic Games. Disaster struck when she crashed at the last World Cup event before the Olympic Games. I left off at the peak of my career, and it was a really exciting time. She tore multiple ligaments, damaged the joint, broke her tibia, and suffered nerve damage in her left leg. She endured hours of surgery and is now nine months into her rehab. Yeah, my knee feels quite a bit different, but I'm just learning that it's a new normal that I'm gonna feel. She works out six days a week, three times a day, starting with physical therapy. When she's here in town, the work is done at Rose City Physical Therapy. It includes stretching and measuring the flexibility in the joint and also plyometrics. It's all designed to overcome the damage done in the crash. It's nice to see what the body can do and heal from and thank God for good doctors. We're looking at getting her ready to be able to do that dynamic ballistic movement. So she's in the beginning stage of kind of working on some of that plyometric, kind of getting some of the um, tissues being able to handle some of the force that they need to generate. From there, it's to club sport and strength training with trainer Troy Harvey. They've worked together for nearly a decade. They work both the legs and her upper body. Their workouts can be intense. Harvey marvels at the progress that Wiles has made since the surgery. Not once did I think that she would ever not get to be where she is right now. I cannot wait to be in Beijing with my family for the Olympics in 2022. That's how confident I am in this woman. Wiles says the scars left behind from the surgery remind her every day of the journey she's on. I'm actually really proud of them now because I just think scars tell stories and it's just shown what I've been through and, you know, just the strength within that I'm going to persevere and come out stronger from it. Art Edwards, KGW Sports. She sure does have a story. The Canby yeah. High School graduate splits her time between Portland and the Skiing Training Center in Utah. She hopes to get back on the mountain, on the snow, pretty soon in January, actually. Won't be competing until maybe next season, but we're all pulling forward. We look forward to seeing her in Beijing. We'll be